Yep, that's me. Getting put in a rear naked choke at 6 a.m. in the morning. Now, I'm sure you're probably wondering why I'm trying to escape a rear naked choke at 6 a.m. in the morning by my own volition. Well, it's a long story. Alexa, lights on. Okay. It's currently 5.29 or 5.30 a.m. And I'm up this early because I'm trying to make the 6 a.m. jiu-jitsu classes. Um, I already have my gi all set and ready to go. So all I need to do is just brush my teeth and head out. So I like reading my Bible first thing in the morning while I'm brushing my teeth. Um, actually listening to my Bible while I brush my teeth. Um, and I'm currently in a devotional to finish the second testament this fourth quarter uh, right now I'm gonna be listening to the book of revelations 14 so just a good way to start my morning I like that and I'll just uh, brush my teeth definitely top five books I've read this year definitely top five Alexa, lights out. Okay. So right now it's 5.52 and I'm currently at the gym waiting for the instructor to get here. So the reasons why I started doing 6 a.m. jiu-jitsu classes is because I was previously doing 6 p.m. ones um, or 6.30 p.m. ones and for me, I actually like getting it done now that I'm doing it like earlier in the day and just getting it over with. It's just more convenient and like I don't have to worry about it being in my mind all day. So I actually do prefer that. So that's why I'm trying it out. Today's only my second day trying it out and I, I just want to see how I like it. I also kind of do like the early starts of the day. So I'm not opposed to that. So to be honest, I mean, it's only my second time, like I said. So we'll see how it, I'll be able to go from from there and see if I'm consistent enough to keep doing this on a weekly basis. But yeah, I just like the fact that I can get it out of my way from the day and be over with it. So I don't keep like getting tired after work and I no longer, you know, want to go. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so I'm sure you remember the rear naked joke from earlier in the video. Yes, this is how I got there. Yes, I did this to myself, but thankfully I was able to escape and thankfully I made it out alive. No scratch. Well, that's it. That's the story. That's the story of how by my own volition, I was getting rear naked choked at 6 a.m. in the morning. That's the end of the video. Okay, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <sighs> Another day of getting <laughs> submitted. <laughs> but it's fun though. Like, I kind of like this actually because um, I feel like I'm able to better comprehend instruction earlier in the morning than later in the day. So I think this might be my go to. <sighs> Yeah, because I feel like I better understand it in the morning because, like, my, my mind is, like, free. My head is free, so, like, I'm not really thinking about, oh, the day and everything. And so, like, yeah, like, first thing in the morning, 
and like I'm already learning and stuff like that, like I actually do think I prefer this because I'm better able to comprehend and also able to like um, assimilate information faster. Not faster, but I'm able to just better understand uh, what I'm learning and stuff. So yeah, but I'm out next week for Afrotech. Watch out for the vlog for that. Um, so probably till the week after before I train again, but this was certainly fun and I'm super excited to start the day. I just realized that I sound like those UFC people after they've won the fight and like the uh, moderator's asking them, so what do you think about the fight? And they're just like spewing out a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> that's, how I, that's how I feel like I sound right now. <laughs> So, currently 8.21 a.m. and since I have a couple of minutes before my daily stand-up, I want to try to get some schoolwork done. So, it's currently November and this is the last month of school, my WGU program, and I am really trying to finish this program this month. I'm currently doing my last class right before my capstone, um, and it's the... I forgot the name of the class, but C773, User Interface Design. So I already finished the first task, so I'm gonna start working on the second task um, and then try to submit that by the end of today. And then hopefully by the end of today or by tomorrow, um, I know if I'm done with the class and immediately start on my capstone because I'm gonna be traveling a lot this month and um, I don't want that to slow down my uh, degree finish finishing process. So as soon as I can get this turned in, I will get that turned in. Hopefully by the end of today, um, it's going to be a lot of work, but I don't mind doing it so I can immediately start my capstone. And once I start my capstone, I should be able to finish that, probably like pull an all-nighter um, or two and be able to finish that um, those papers or projects or proposals that I need to do for the capstone. And then, yeah, I'll be, I'll be done. Super excited for that. I'm also, like I said, I'm traveling a lot this month, so I'm traveling to Afrotech in Austin next week. I'm going to be out all next week. Um, and then come back one week and then traveling to reinvent at the end of the month so a lot of things going on so I need to get as much stuff as i can get done this week and on the other off week so we'll see how it goes currently 1 34 p.m. and I've just been uh, doing a bunch of work so far um, also had a bunch of meetings and one-on-ones with a couple of my co-workers um, but it's been a really great day so far got some work done actually so I think in my last day in the live video go watch it up here or up here whatever um, I talked about how I was starting on a new team so this is actually my third week on that team and I would say like it was definitely an interesting challenge because like I started working on a different, entirely different like detection landscape that I'm not too familiar with. So like it was definitely a challenge for me, like trying to like learn the new nuances of this level of detection and um, start figuring out like how to actually do stuff like, you know, at work with this knowledge I was gaining. So I like the challenge because like for me, like I typically put myself in situations where I have to learn new things and, um, you know, get better at these new things. So for example, like jujitsu, like going to the gym, like learning the piano, um, get into cloud, right? So like this was definitely a different landscape for me. And I'd say I enjoyed it so far. Um, so like I actually made my first um, PR for some changes today. So that's a pretty exciting. Um, I do feel like I it's been a good experience kind of Beyond just like actually, um, you know, looking at maybe the actual work itself or the team, I think it's always a, a, a learning experience for me figuring out how I'm able to get up to speed with new things that I'm not familiar with. So like what my learning process looks like and how I can continuously refine that process. So for me, this was another way by which I learned um, and got more familiar with my learning process. So every time I have to learn something new, it's always a refinement process for how I learn new things. So if I say have to take a new certification or work in a new team again, or maybe like uh, change roles, 
I feel like my learning process is continuously getting refined. And the more I put myself in situations where I have to learn new things and be uncomfortable with things I'm not familiar with, the better I get at learning new things. And I realized that in the beginning, I used to have this fear of like not knowing, not being able to do something, like sucking at something. And I still do. Um, like, but I'm getting better at that. So overcoming that challenge of just like being not familiar with something and then figuring out a way to get better at it is something that I've enjoyed so far. And I, I feel like this experience on this new team was another learning experience for that. So all that story aside, I'm about to go grab lunch because I am hungry. So in my last day in the live video, I talked about Balkan. So let's do a Balkan. Uh, part of that means even more, of course. So just add one uh, sandwich, like a toast sandwich. Add like sardines and eggs in it. And um, now I'm about to eat. This is white rice and stew. There's a bunch of like beef in there. There's vegetables there. Egg, this is a boiled egg. But this stew is called um, a fado stew. It's a Nigerian stew. So it's currently past 6 p.m., like 6.15. Um, there's a church I typically go to um, in my area that I like playing at sometimes on Wednesdays. And I'm just happening to be going there today. Just going to play through the worship session for like one hour. And that's like one of my favorite parts of my week. Um, and I'm super excited to be going today. So I'll see you guys there. So it's currently 10, 18 p.m. and I am done for the day. Um, so I just actually transferred all the videos from the camera to my computer right now so I can just like get them prepped for editing. But I am about to go to bed now because I am tired. And I've been up since 5.30, so 